Welcome back everybody to another episode of Icarus. My name is The Goodish Gamer and in today's video we're just going to kind of continue on where we left off. In the last episode, if you guys missed it, go check it out. It's on the channel. We built this little bad boy and I just kind of honey badger, just kind of threw it up there real quick. The sun was going down, it started storming. Uh, so we had to... Here we go. We had to uh, build shelter like right away. Now if we come here and we go eight. And I'm just barely getting by you guys with the food. Like I'll find a berry bush right before I die and it buys me just enough time <laughs> to to stay alive a little bit. Actually, let's go ahead and drop some sticks on here, free up some of our inventory space. It's getting a little full, but anyway, it's a fresh new day. We we have to seriously have to figure out food and I'm kind of thinking we're going to work on leveling up in this episode. There's deer all over here. What I've been doing is coming down here and Animals will kind of get stuck right here, and I'm able to just go up and hatchet them to death. And it seems to work out fine. What is this? Dude, that guy was laying down. What? <laughs> okay. There's there's a partial tree right here. This is interesting. Look at this. Anyway, you guys, if you liked the video today, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And welcome to the Goodish Family. So a few things I want to show you. Right away, check this out. If we fell a tree, check on the top left. If we knock down a tree, every tree we knock down is worth 300 experience points. Now, every time we break one of these up, we chop a tree into a section, it's 100. So we kind of get experience points for doing everything. And I like it. I like it a lot. But leveling up in this game is no joke. It takes forever, you guys. So that's kind of what we're doing today. We're just trying to level up, trying to continue on. My goal for this episode... I don't know how long it's going to be. Probably not a very long episode, but my goal is to either level up to craft a spear so we can do some, uh, we can grab some fish and get food under control. That's really the big thing. It's not even what weapon we use, but getting food under control. And we have water right next to us. So that's kind of, uh, each of these, each one of these are worth 10 each. So if we break this, it's worth 300 for that one too. That's cool. And then 100 for that. So yeah, anyway, uh, getting food figured out. Water's right next to us. So we can grab food by, you know, in the form of fish. And we can just fish. Dude, this is... This just goes on for days. And that log just went under the map. So, anyway. Really cool. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you guys being here. Um, haven't explored around a whole lot. We still have yet to uh, complete or even start our tasks, our, our objectives. And that is to find these... I thought I heard. I thought I heard something. Hold on. It's uh. It's really to move over this way. To find these uh, lost. What are they? Satellites, missiles, bombs, something. I don't know. Uh, but we have to find these fallen parts and then return them, and then the, then we'll complete our objective. But I mean, this is a survival game. Our food is already low, and I'm not seeing a single berry bush to save my life. Hmm. I'm trying not to venture out too far because. I don't want to run into any bears or wolves or anything. There's something up here. There's a rabbit. So if we duck, I don't think it sees us. We can sneak up on it. Incorrect! Yes! Okay, sorry. We'll just hold that. All right, so we have ourselves a rabbit. So that buys us a little bit of time for food. But, I mean, check it out. Every time we eat food, it doesn't increase our food all the way. So it, it kind of gives us just enough food. To make it to the next thing that we kill, which, speaking of the devil, if you notice in the center of the screen, it says stealth. Because we were squatted down, I don't think he sees us. Look at this little guy go. I think this guy takes a couple hits. Oh, oh, get him! And there's a there's a delay in our, in our hit, too. Man, and he's gone. That sucked. He's gone. I don't know. He Yeah, he's way gone. I'm not even going to waste my time. So, yeah, we definitely need to come up with... I was thinking maybe next... The the next level up... Go ahead and just drink this. We unlocked the bow, but we don't have arrows just yet. I'm not actually not sure what it takes to make arrows. Um, so I was thinking maybe we do a spear. Let's go ahead and do this. Grab our knife. Right here. Also made a torch. We're going to skin this guy up, get him made. Just to give us enough food. Uh, no bones on that guy. That's fine. Activate this thing. Our inventory is full. We have to figure that out as well. Um, I think there's chests and stuff we can make, but we, I mean, we haven't leveled up yet since I've seen you guys last. So if we, 
inventory, crafting, tech tree. Yeah, we have zero points. We're level three still. So, um, really, there's a... Where is it? There's a spear, a wooden spear right here. And it's pretty cheap, but I don't know if I want to spend the points on that. Or if I want to spend it on this. Now, this is unlocked, but this is locked. So, I don't know... I'm not seeing... Required elements is fiber, stick, and stone. Uh, but I'm not seeing, like... It has a lock. Well, I guess these do too. I don't know why I can't unlock those. The, like the wooden spear. Probably just because it's locked because we don't have a point. So anyway, we're going to figure that out today. But anyway, let's drop this down here. And eight and eat. And that's, that's kind of a big thing, you guys. The spear will allow us to get fish. Is that something right there? And I'm, and I'm thinking... Yeah, there's a bunny right there. We can get bunnies all day long. I'm thinking, uh, or a rabbit, rather. We may be able to throw spears as well. Look at this guy. I feel so bad. Kind of. This is a survival game. Oh, look at that baby deer with the big deer. Oh, don't worry. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Don't worry. Oh, I left my fire going, too. That's, that's a noob. What a noob move. Okay. And then we're just gonna, <laughs> we're gonna skin another rabbit. And this is, this episode, apparently. We're just killing little bunnies. It's probably not the best thing to say to YouTube. Um, alright, so this is making charcoal. Now, we're encumbered for sure. Uh, we have fur. We may need to... I wonder if, real quick, if we come here to crafting, if we can keep crafting up these max, we can only make one. And I keep getting wood because, or I keep, I, I keep, like, chopping down trees because it's 300 per tree, but I'm really getting a nice little uh, collection over here. Now there's another weather event. A weather event just got over right before I hit record, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, you guys. Um, looks like this one's just rain. We can go ahead and uh, turn this off. That's taking up sticks. We can put some in there just to free up some of our inventory right there. And then... We're still encumbered like crazy. Man, and I don't know what the despawn rate is, or I don't know how things work here. Uh, so I think maybe if we drop this, we can drop all this stuff. I don't know if it, if there's persistence. You know, I don't know if it stays around. It's probably not the flowers that's a heavy stuff. It's probably all the wood. <laughs> I'm over here dropping the flowers, freeing up inventory space. So fiber, we have fiber for days. There's bones. I, I probably should have kept that. Um... We also have sulfur, a common flammable ingredient for torches. And then this is an ingredient in concrete glass. So I probably didn't even need to pick up the silica just yet. We, let's just drop that. We don't need it. I kind of want to hold on to the bone. Because I don't know if this stuff despawns. If it does, uh, that's bad news bears. Now, let's come over here and uh, get some more oxygen before we, before we get really going. And today's episode, like, we're not... Uh, I don't want to say we're not going to. I don't see us getting into exploring a whole lot because we still have to get some of the uh, the fundamentals taken care of. And uh, for one thing, it's getting this oxide in here. There we go. We have 50 in there. It looks like it stacks to 50. We have leather. That's cool. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to keep going around and working on... Uh, not punching trees. I'm going to chop down some trees. I'm going to work on uh, leveling up, and I'll be right back with you guys. As soon as I get a little bit more XP, and we can kind of move forward in the episode. So I'll be right back. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, you guys, the trees are falling over. What the crap? These trees are falling. It is so windy. Let's get in our little shack. Dude, our, look at this. Look at this. It's, it's taking away our shelter. What a trolley game. No. Dude, he was knocking over trees. Okay, it looks like maybe... Dude, these guys are like, get me the frig out of here. No joke. Now, I don't know if we can actually repair this stuff or not. That is crazy. The storm came through and started blowing everything over. Goodness gracious. Let's go ahead and uh, drop these. Yeah, I was just minding my own business out there and all of a sudden everything around me started falling <laughs> I wanted to bring you guys back 
No shelter. At least we still have shelter, though. I'm going to find out if we can repair those. Um, so I'm going to come up this way and continue doing what I was doing. Chopping trees and leveling up. And there we go. Just leveled up. Uh, so I'm finding a whole bunch of wood on, like, logs on the ground just randomly. And I, I think it may have been the ones that fell over that the storm blew over. So anyway, we just leveled up. Uh, and then this is just kind of my life now. We just do this forever. And the sounds, I actually love the sounds in this game. So, yeah, it's not, it's not been that bad. It's actually a really soothing game. Now, I've never played this before, um, the last episode. That was my very first episode ever to play this game. So I can't speak, um, you know, on how frequently, is that, is that one done? Yeah. How frequently these storms come in. I don't know if it's changed with every beta weekend, but for sure, this one, man, that's been like four storms between the first episode and this one. So they seem to be happening all the time. Now let's come in here to cra or to a tech tree rather. And we cannot oh. oh okay, we can do a wooden spear. Oh, we can also make stone arrows. And we need fiber, stick, and stone. So actually that's not bad, you guys. We're actually gonna do this. But I think we're also going to... Man, I don't want to waste my points. I don't know if arrows can go underwater. Maybe we should test that before we spend the points. Uh, this is all... That's just kind of decorative stuff. I'm not too worried about that right now. Small wood crate. We're going to do that and we're going to save our last point uh, to check out the spear in case the arrows don't actually shoot down into the water. So let's come here to crafting real quick. Let's craft our bow. We have yet to do that. Now... Uh, we need all the stone. We actually have a stone pile right here. And now we are encumbered. Perfect. Let's max out. We can craft 22 arrows. Now my question is, does 22 arrows take on the weight in my inventory that the stack of stone did? Doesn't look like they do. Cool. So let's come right here real quick. We need to repair that. Let's move this guy. Right there. Let's move this guy over here because G is where the uh, animals go. And then real quick, before moving on, we just need fiber. And actually I dropped some fiber in here. Uh, whether It looks like it's still here somewhere. Oh, uh, this is the fiber. I'm wondering if things are despawning or they fell through the floor or uh, the storm blew them away. I'm not entirely sure. Let's go ahead and craft another one because I don't know... Uh, I don't know how much space these things have. I also have one... I have a wall still? What? Drop, destroy. Receive one thatch wall you receive. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. So now eight. Uh, we're definitely going to have to look into... up. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to have to look into updating our... Uh, let's see. How do I... How do I rotate this? Mouse wheel isn't doing it. I guess it's just... Oh, okay. Right there. And then... Five. Right there. Alright. See, that's not much space. But, I'll take it. Um, can I shift click? Uh, control click. Control single click moves it over. Nice! Okay! Huge! That's huge, you guys. Awesome. So, let's go ahead and pick up the remaining... Fat. No, it does. It actually looks like everything just broke down. So, uh, now we need to craft some arrows. So, we need stone, which I know I just put some in there, but we're going to get our own out here. And this. Let me craft up a... Actually, no, I already did, didn't I? I already crafted arrows. Yeah, no, we're, we're good to go. Hold on. What am I even doing? Let's go check this out. Now, I've never shot a bow before in this game, so I'm not entirely sure how it works. There are fish down there. Mm, mm, mm. Oh! That's not good. We just got hurt. I'm trying to see down there if it doesn't look like there's any permanent effects on me. I was looking for, like, bleeding or something like that. Doesn't look like that's a thing. So, let's come over here. Uh, hold down right mouse hold down left mouse and let go is she okay pretty straightforward very nice now if we come over here we can hold the skin we can just skin it right here oh do we get our arrow back we do look at that arrow we get it back it looks like it does have durability on it so we may get them 
back with different durability. Awesome. Here's a fish right here. Okay. So we can actually save... Let's pick this up. Okay, raw fish. We got a raw fish, you guys. Oh, interesting. Now, do we need to gut a raw fish? Plus 15 foods. Damage trout require only slight genetic adjustments to thrive in the water. Something. Let's go try to cook this guy up real quick. I don't know if we can cook a uh, fiber stick. I don't know if we can... Oh, we already got stuff on there. Come on, man. I don't know if we can just cook it up as is or if we have to descale it. No, it looks like we can cook it as is. Nice. Then we have this meat here. Now, we really have to balance this out because food spoiling is a thing. So we don't want to like go out there and just kill everything just to get all the meat if we don't need it. Now, right now, uh, it says plus 15 food when when consumed. This says plus 20 food. So the fish, they're not going to do that much because the rabbit doesn't do much. That's a thing. That's a thing. So that's still interesting. Okay, so five. Let's just look down there. Can I see myself holding it? We see there is a third person, which is really cool. Looks like... I can't tell if I'm holding anything or not. Let's just eat it. Okay, so our food went up a little bit. Let's go ahead and grab this. The food's going to go up a lot more. Can we see ourselves holding this one? Doesn't look like it. Maybe... Looks like the right, hit, the right fist is uh, clenched a little bit. Alright, yeah, no, that's not a thing. That's okay. So our food is really maxed out. Now, as soon as this guy gets done, we can just carry him in our inventory. And there he is right there. And we can just hold on to him. Okay, you guys. Wonderful. We actually have uh, food figured out. That is huge. Butt shot. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, swing and a miss. Okay, he's running around. Three? Three arrows? Okay, we're not the stealthiest of hunters. That's okay. And we got some berries too. That way we're not just all protein diet. We're not all berry diet. So, pretty cool. I'm wondering real quick. I want to see if maybe we squat down. Because now we're stealth. And if we get a headshot, does that count? Oh, it does. One shot kill. And it did a cool animation. That's awesome, you guys. That, that, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so now we can skin this guy up. And we can take all. We get some bone. Take all. Leaves this carcass behind. If we come to the hatchet now. Yeah, it does give us bone. I think we knew that, right? Yeah, well, I think we already did that. There we go. So now we got bone. Now, bone can be used for crafting other items. Um, so I think the next order of business, we're good with food now. Um, let's see real quick. I just want to check this out. So we have 570 seconds left on this food. Can I let's split the stack? If we put this here, I'm just curious. I want to test it. 560 seconds. It is counting down. But when this thing is cooked, does it increase the spoil timer on it? I wonder. I'm not sure. And then we don't have uh, we don't have anything figured out for water either but we can always run down there and drink some water whenever we need to but look at all the live the wildlife around here we have endless food fish i don't know if there's fishing poles um anyway west is where we need to go to find the uh the felled thing our objective D does does this tell us challenges no map here we go retrieve bio warhead there we go from crash satellite in forest number one so I would assume that is this one because we're up here in the forest. So that's off to the west. So that's that way. I'm sh uh that way. I'm sure if you follow that stream up. Wow. Then it's just kind of up there. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I I don't know for sure. I I have no idea. I'm I would think there's going to be some bad uh wildlife along the way. We can go ahead and craft that up too. So we're not ready to go there just yet. Actually, let's go ahead and consume stack. That way our food is really good. I don't know what happens if we oversatiate ourselves, if we, like, get the old poops, or if, uh, if if we just waste the food. All right, so we still have that one last skill point we can use. We're not going to use it on a spear, because I can't think of anything right now that 
we would use the spear on versus the bow and arrow right here. Wood repair hammer. This is exactly what I was looking for. So now we can repair stuff. Uh, come into crafting. Wood repair hammer. We need some stone. Super easy to get. Click on that. Craft that. We've got a nice little setup going on here, you guys. Uh, okay, number five. So now we come here. Five. Do we need the the stuff in our inventory? Durability, durability. Here, this one's... Okay. Can we repair past the 500? No, it does not upgrade the wall. It just... There we go. Okay, yeah, so it just fixes it. Wow, this the storm wrecked us. And watch us get this thing fixed just in time for another storm to start. That's probably what's going to happen. And that's okay. That's okay. We're just learning here. That's 500. That's good. But the ceiling is, like, jacked up. And I can't tell... We have 11 sticks and 28 fiber. So let's see if doing this actually pulls the materials from our inventory. 11 and 28. It does not. It looks like just holding the hammer just magically repairs it. Sweet. Okay. I can get on board with that. I like it. Now, all of a sudden, our place is magical again. Uh, uh, you know what? I was going to look and see if there's a door. It doesn't matter right now. We don't have any more points. That's a ramp. There's a door, right? Yeah, a door right there. So, honestly, we don't really need it unless there's a wolf or a bear coming at us. Uh, because I go in there whenever it storms and then it shows that we are we are covered. So, cooked meat. That's, oh, my God, it does. When you cook your food, it was down to like 500-something uh, seconds when it was raw. But then we cook it, and it's up to 1,400. Wow. So let's go ahead and actually do this little number. Let's put some stuff away. And I'm thinking maybe, now that we have a little bit of abundance of food. Uh, that's leather. We have 27 now. Fiber. Stone. That's leather. 17 arrows. I'm thinking that... Ah, oh man, I, don't, I, just, I just don't know. I don't know if that's enough or not. We can carry up to 50 oxide at one time. So let's replenish this, and actually, let's go ahead. I know I said we probably wouldn't get to it today, but let's go ahead and try to find, see if we can't find that little warhead out there, out to the west. I'm going to gather this stuff up, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, we're back. So our little base is just over that way somewhere. Uh, we're just going to follow the stream up here because it is off to the west, and I don't see a way through this mountain. And actually, now that I'm thinking of it, uh, let's grab some berries, too, for some emergency food if we need it. I think I remember someone saying there... Okay. He's not a bear. There are some places in these mountains that if it kind of looks like a fake wall, it kind of... It, you know, it may be. And I don't know. I don't, we're not looking for places in the mountain right now. Like that right there. Looks like that would be a cave, right? Like, is that a thing? 100% it's a thing. Look at this. What in the world? So we can just knock this wall down and there's caves? My only question is, what am I unearthing? Like, it's a cave, right? Oh, I do not want to go in there. Um, If we have time... Oh, that is really cool. I want to come back and uh, see if we can't go in there because um, that that's really cool. I wonder what's inside caves. I don't know. I don't know what all different ores we have. And just real quick... For the pro tip out here, the water stops here, so we don't want to be too far away from the water. If we drink this water, the stream, is it good? It sure is. Great. Now, if we come on the map, we're down here. We really need to be heading this way, west. I can't because there's this massive mountain in the way. <laughs> I don't know if we just go around it. I think we still have enough daylight. But definitely we're going to need to be coming back because um, I don't know if there's going to be a storm incoming. Most likely there is. They seem to love to come at me. And I wanted to come up here real quick just to see if there's an easy way to come around here. Like if we just follow this little valley around. And anyway, kind of what dangers are out here. We haven't seen anything but like goats, deer, and rabbits. We just need to find this warhead <laughs> somewhere. Okay, 
Yeah. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place and a freaking mountain. We can't get over there. We're going to have to find another way over. So I don't know if we're going to actually deal with that today. I want to go back there to that cave that we started to make and then check that out and see what that's all about. And see what's in there and see what kind of trouble we can get into and what kind of shenanigans is going on. So I'll meet you guys back there at that cave. Here we are. And of course the sun is going down. So we need to cut out just enough for us to get in. And then pray to the game gods that there's nothing in here that's going to wreck our face like giant scorpions. Or I don't think there are, but we are, you know, we're, we're in uncharted territory right here. So let's go ahead and bring out our... Shit, you guys see that? What the crap was that? Did you, did you guys see that? What is that? Oh, it's a cave marker. I thought it was teeth marks, like showing that there was like teeth coming at me. Oh, that terrified me. Okay, we should probably be all stealthy. Oh, oh. This is terrifying. Looks like we have a different ore right here. What is this now? Iron. He's got a talent point. Okay, there's iron in the caves, you guys. I know you can't see a thing. Uh, I can't either. I'm just trying to get the rest of this iron. Okay, it looks like there's some more right here. Is this iron? Yeah, that is. Okay, good for now. Um, there's more iron right there. Oh, wow. Ooh, we're cold, too. That makes sense. Oh, wow, I jumped. I jumped really far. What is this now? Hold on. Copper. We just got another talent point. All right, well, now we know where stuff is. Dude, this is absolutely terrifying. We can't go any further because it's all water, and that just dead ends right there. This side doesn't go around. So, yeah, dude, we found a cave. Awesome, and we found ore. I know there's more iron over here, so now we know where to come. Um, I don't know if... I can mark it on the map. It's not that difficult to find because we just followed the stream up to the waterfall and it's directly across from the waterfall is the cave opening. So we have to make it back to camp. The sun is going down. Look how pretty this is. Oh, wow. Beautiful. The sun is just peeking out over there. Our home away from home is over that way. All right, you guys. Yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for today. Uh, we made the uh, the bow and arrow. We made the arrows. We figured out food. Um, water was not an issue. We also figured out how we can repair our uh, our structures. So, that's it, right? Oh, and the, and the storage chest. So, a successful episode. We did not die. We have not died yet. And then we dis... Okay, great. And we discovered that uh, we can, in fact... Oh, well, this stuff is going to spoil, isn't it? We should probably just eat this. That way it doesn't go fully the waste. We got to figure out what to do with these ores. The iron ore. And this says, uh, refine, can be refined into pure ingots. So I don't know if that's something that we need to, uh, craft a refiner. Or if we can do it in something. But we did get some more talent points for finding that. And then also I noticed up here across the top. Survival, construction, combat. And solo, a healthy Maverick. So that's just solo right there. Combat, we can increase our combat. Here's arrows, quick load. That's nice. Construction, this is increase extinguishing speed. Oh, careful hits, reduce durability. So we can reduce durability and all that kind of stuff. Wood hauling, wooden buildables weigh less in inventory. That's nice. And then concrete and all that kind of stuff. Survival is where it's at. Increase to base stamina. We're doing it. I don't even care. And you can see right here, points are going into each of these categories. And this is... We're going to have to upgrade this for sure. We're going to have to get into wood because... Yeah, high winds. I think the trees are going to start falling down again. But anyway, you guys, uh, thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate you guys. Um, if you like the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to try to survive this storm. That's super loud. And then I'll see you guys 
in the next one. This is the Goodish Gamer signing out. Wow.